Listen, Talk, Repeat podcast. I'm Wendy Capewell, your Relationship Specialist, and this podcast is all about things relating and affecting relationships. I'll be interviewing guests who are experts in their profession, learning more about what they do and how they help others. In some episodes, I'll be sharing some insights and tips of my own. So settle back and enjoy. So today, I'd like to introduce Raki Shah, who I met several years ago. Um, We were both on a similar course, the same course actually, and we were room buddies and that's how we really met, which was really interesting. But we've been friends since, although... She's so busy, as am I, that we don't get very often time to talk to each other. But I think she is amazing at what she does. Uh, She's from Fertility Bump and Beyond, a holistic women's health therapist who specializes in fertility issues. She uses fertility massage, fertility reflexology, nutrition and kinesiology which I can't pronounce very well. (laughs) Um, Fertility is a really hard issue and that is becoming more and more common these days. But with Raki's help and people like her, help is at hand. So introduce yourself, Raki. Hello, everyone. Um, My name's Raki Shah. Um, As lovely Wendy said, I own my business. It's called Fertility Bump and Beyond. And the reason I went into my business is because I had um, infertility issues myself 10 years ago, um, just over 10 years ago, actually. My husband and I found out that we could not have children naturally, Uh, went through all the tests. Um, You know, as a woman, you have to go through every test there is known. And then um, once I'd completed mine, got told absolutely nothing wrong with me. My husband then had his test. And for men, literally all it is is a general semen analysis. Um, And that's where we found the problem that there was a sperm issue. So doctors looked at it and said, right, you can see definitely sperm issue. No way you're going to get pregnant naturally. Uh, We're referring you to the IVF clinic. And that was the end of that. In the meantime, um, a friend of mine who is a reflexologist was going through her own issues um, and said, I don't believe in IVF. Um, It's not something that I want to do. We are going to pursue the um, holistic route. And it's something that being a complementary therapist myself, I hadn't even thought of because Mm. I think the shock of it was all like, right, what can we do to get help and how are we going to do it? So I thought, oh, okay, well, we've got a chance. We're still young. Um, let's do it. So we pursued acupuncture, who then referred us to a nutritionist. Even though I was a reflexologist myself 10 years ago, fertility reflexology wasn't around as much. It was more about acupuncture, which is fine. Um, it's an amazing therapy in itself. And so we pursued nine months of acupuncture, dietary change, we could have been a pharmacy with the amount of pills we were taking, but it was all, all good stuff. Being a vegetarian, um, I didn't think my diet was unhealthy. We were so wrong, so, so wrong. So all of that care helped us to better our bodies. Um, it was an intense, long nine months. But um, yes, I agree it didn't help us fall pregnant naturally because we still had sperm issue. But that's why I think our IVF worked first time. And as a result, um, we have not one but two babies because I got pregnant with twins and um, it was brilliant. It was just amazing. But it was a a really, really long, dark journey, which has completely led me to doing the work that I do um, when I met Wendy four years ago. Um, And it was that push that I actually needed to know that, you know what, there are people that ourselves out there struggling, don't know where to turn to. Um, and this is something that I was passionate about and um, decided that, you know, I want to help couples where we need the help. I think that's great because, as you say, so many couples do struggle and it, I, it must raise all kinds of issues as well. You know, that concern about I failed, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a whole person. I guess it puts all kinds of pressures on relationship as well. Um, and I think. People can feel, you know, that only is IVF and then they do try quite a few times. I've had clients who've done that uh, and it's failed. And that 
it's such a difficult process to go through as an IVF and then for it not to work I can't imagine what that feels like I say clients I've worked with have been through that and it's put so much strain on the relationship so I think for you to say that you can put the, your body in the best possible condition for it to work I think that is there's got to be only good only good can come out of that uh, fully fully and you know um, I'm always when I work with couples I like to work with couples because it takes the two of you to make a baby it's not just the woman's problem it is part of the man 50% of that baby is man so you know for me getting you both ready there is no harm in boosting good sperm you're only going to get better sperm so yeah. um, you know this is something for both of you to work with not just it's it shouldn't be seen as just the burden on the woman which you know a lot of the times it is unfortunately yeah and I guess sometimes I get human nature goes into the blame game and that is so sad yeah because, absolutely yeah I need to start asking you a few questions here so I'm going to start by asking you what do you do when sex becomes baby making only <laughs> um, when I ask my clients that they both look at each other and they both laugh um, because um, based on my own experience when we first decided to try for a baby it was like hey no don't worry about contraception let's just have sex as and when and then month after month when you know you as a woman um, gets her period and you're like oh it hasn't happened again it hasn't happened again six months become a year and then it literally just becomes clock watching the number of clients who say to me yeah um i i get you know i'm ovulating tonight so i say to him make sure you're home tonight and when the male partner's like i just feel used and abused because all she wants me is for my sperm but not for me um so i often feel absolutely um pressurized that i have to perform so you know as a man when it's hitting their um gentle areas and if that's not functioning and that's the only manly thing technically about them it hits right in the heart it really mm -hmm. hurts them because they're like oh i'm no longer a man and it's like you said you know it's the blame game as well so you know if if a man is pressurized to perform and he can't then the woman's like oh well, that's another month he's just lost and that's another month he's just lost it shouldn't be like that um you know it's very easy and i've been on both sides so you know what I can say is very easy for me to say and sometimes is hard to action. But when couples work with us, my best piece of advice is if you are having trouble conceiving, take a break. Take a break to see where the stresses are coming from. Go back to what life was like before you even considered trying for a baby. You know, go back to the fun and frolics. Obviously, diet and lifestyle change where you can for the positive, but go back to um spontaneity and that's something that goes out of the window because it's always like i said it's just clock watching so go back to being spontaneous go back to um caressing each other being with each other connecting with each other. hold hands kiss it doesn't have to lead on to full-blown sex yeah and i think that's something that couples miss so much they feel um even generally, even if they're not trying for a baby, I think sometimes it is the they forget that connection. They forget how to connect with each other and it just becomes routine and sex it becomes I don't know, just it becomes a war almost. And I feel that's so sad. And so when it's happening and, and there is that infertility or, or trying to get pregnant um is involved as well, that so much more pressure on the couple yeah it is and as you feel more pressurized the stresses rise and mm. unfortunately when your um stress starts to become super high the reproductive system is potentially one of the first systems to shut down because it is not needed in everyday daily life to live you need your liver to survive you need your digestive system to survive you don't need your reproductive system to survive so the body's like well you don't need this anymore so i'm just going to shut you down so that happens in the survival system because when uh we are in that fearful state of frightening and we we feel something really dangerous is happening our digestive shut 
system shuts down as does our reproductive system because they're not needed it's just the body needs to survive absolutely so as you you know put on more pressure and stress it's not going to function yeah yeah and of course all those stress hormones get in the way of lots of things as well in um, keeping us healthy so yeah there's lots of things around there that stress isn't good for us is it no no but uh, like I said you know just go back to imagining how you were when you first got together the excitement that was there what connected you two together um Mm. and you know get that feeling again back in the center of the heart um go back to that place and see if you can bring the spark back into the relationship and it like i said it doesn't have to be full-blown penetrative sex it like it just being with each other that's the main thing yeah and how many times i suggest that to couples as well just (laughs) generally for goodness sake turn off your electronics just sit and be with each other and remember what it was like having fun i think Sometimes the stresses of life just cause that, yeah, we just get caught up in that and then forget to enjoy life and enjoy each other. So really good advice there. So tell me a bit more about how you work because you obviously there's a lot involved about what you do because there's a massage, there's the reflexology, the the nutrition and the kinesiology. Can you explain the kind of process that you might go through with a couple? Yep. So initially couples come in for a initial consultation. Um, that's where we look at everything. So uh, lifestyle, where, you know, if they smoke, they drink, what they're eating, um, down to bowel movements, what stresses them out. Um, if there's any um, emotional aspects that are coming up. So we look at the bigger picture. It's not just... Um, the physical but it is emotional and ecological all put together and potentially specifically if they're coming with um no known issues it's you know they've been told there's nothing wrong then often it's not a physical but it could be an emotional or psychological issue that's stopping conception from happening so we look at the fuller picture and then um the life cycle of an egg and sperm is 90 days from creation to maturity so whatever what you have done in the last three months prior to conception will have a huge um, impact on the quality for both of you and often quantity of sperm for um, a man as well. So by doing these subtle changes, um, you know, we look at nutrition. So making sure you are actually feeding your food, your body, the food that is fertility friendly, nourishing, nutritionally dense and reducing or removing what we call the crap. So definitely caffeine, refined sugars, alcohol, processed foods. We look at where depletion is in the body. So using kinesiology, muscle testing, we can work out exactly um, what nutrition you are in need of. So are you in need of extra magnesium or are you in need of extra vitamin B? Um, magnesium is a good muscle relaxant, but it's you know an important mineral for the body. Vitamin B is good for the nervous system. So if you're stressed, you're going to deplete your vitamin B. So uh, we look at the whole lifestyle um, and see where improvements can be made. And then treatment wise, um, we, we do a 12 week program because the 12 weeks sits in with the 90 days of the creation to maturity. So we allow you to help yourselves with our help to improve the quality of your eggs, the quality of your sperm. And potentially if there is a, a, a volume issue, then increasing that. So the woman comes in. So they both come in weekly. And the woman will get fertility massage and fertility reflexology because the massage is working physically on the whole reproductive, digestive, liver, emotional center. Um, And the reflexology is pressure points through the feet relating to certain parts of the body. Um, And so allowing us to um, increase ovulation or get her ovulating if that's not happening. Um, You know, so basic hormonal balance. And and the biggest thing is the de-stressing. We like to see the man as well. Because as I mentioned, um, sorry, I didn't, but um, as I said before, you're in this together. However, the woman is the one who's physically going through it, whereas the man goes through it emotionally. Now, because the woman goes through it a lot more, usually men are there to support um, the women, but women in return, because they're so engrossed with it all, are hardly there to support the man. 
And that's where relationships can break down because they're not talking to each other. You become self-engrossed into, oh, I'm not pregnant again and it's not happening and why and why and why and, you know, you just stop talking about it. And like we said before, you lose what each other is. Mm. So, and this is perfectly what happened to, you know, my husband and I. Um, every month I'd sit there and say, oh, I'm not pregnant again. And, it, and then one month he's like, well, what about me? I'm hurt that you're not pregnant. And it never, ever occurred to me to think, oh, hang on. Yes it will be affecting you mm. as well. So that's why we like to see the man as well, because the therapists in clinic who treat the uh, male partner are his supportiveness. So any issues he has, he can message the therapist that is working with him in complete confidence, knowing that he's not going to be judged, knowing that what he's going to say is not going to be an issue. So I work with another therapist and both of us have been through the IVF infertility journey. So we're both understanding and empathetic to what needs are going to be. We are not the sort of therapists who are going to be like, oh, get over it and um, what are you worrying about? And don't stress. If you just chill, it will happen. No, that's not what you want to hear because no. we've been through there and that's not the words that you will hear from us. So the whole reason for, like I said, for working on both of you is the support system is there. And to me, it's more the emotional support that we can give that is far, far more important than any of the physical work that we do. Because once you're in this state of, I can't conceive, why can't I conceive what's happening? Mm -hmm. Your emotional stresses are a lot more higher than your physical stresses. So that's what and how we work is working on both of you to nourish you both and get you both in the best state possible so that you have the good quality egg, good quality sperm, to create that wholesome, healthy, um, beautiful embryo. Sounds amazing. And I love the fact that it is so holistic and you're, you're including everything, the emotional and the physical, uh, for, for both, of, you know, both of the couple. I think that's really important. I think people just don't realise until you seek the sort of help that we provide how much of a pressure it has been. Mm -hmm and mm -hmm. how much of a support you have actually been lacking. Um, when we were going through um, ourselves, again, a cultural thing, um, it's very much still is, but it more so 10 years ago, a taboo subject. People don't yeah. talk about it. So, well, who do I go to then for help? Yeah. You know, who, who, who's going to support me through this journey? Um, who's going to support us through this journey? And um, I was fortunate that I had my reflexologist friend, but an online support forum. Yes, they were good, but sometimes having that face to face is far better. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it is because it's great having a forum where you can talk amongst yourselves, but you really need somebody, as you say, individually, but someone who will, who's maybe not in the same boat right now to see someone who's worked through it yeah. and has got um found ways of dealing with it and also has worked with other people so that they can see that there's a record of of, of success and nobody can understand what each of us goes through whatever it's going on you can get as close as you can and i think if you've actually been through it and you've come out the other side with two beautiful children I mean they're adorable I see pictures of them never met them for real but they look adorable and uh yeah just to have that is, is just amazing so to be able to help couples I think this is just so special yeah no I, I fully agree I I wake up every day and when I have to come to clinic it's never a chore I'm never ever there's never a day when I think oh my god I've got to go to work today. I'm always like, all right, which cases have it? Because no two couples are the same and no two clients are the same every week. Every week brings up a new challenge or, um, you know, has fixed something else. So we're working on something else. So even with the couple, no two sessions are ever the same. So it's, it's amazing in that way because it's constantly evolving, constantly working on things. And it's still very much a learning curve for me because the medicinal technology is changing immensely. So my clients are educating me on what's going on, you know, if they're going down the conventional route. Um, um, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's brilliant because I can say, oh, well, I tried that with Joe Bloggs. Let's try it with you. Not saying that it will help, but you know what? It might do. Um, or, oh, no, that didn't work with Joe Bloggs. But you know what? It might work with you. So it's constant yeah. evolution, which, you know what? Life is. Yes. Also, we're all individuals, so we're going to respond differently. 
So you, I think it's, we're not robots. You can't just say, well, that's, that's the answer because it's not. You have to take each person as an individual. So very true. Oh, gosh, very much so. And I think this is where sometimes the, um, and no disrespect to the IVF industry at all because my children would not be here if, you know, mm. uh, we didn't have it. But I think with, with the IVF industry, unfortunately, it is a, right, here's the program off the shelf. Let's try this with you and let's see what happens rather than think, right, well, you've actually got this and you've got this and actually let's try and add a bit of this in. And that mm. only happens once you've had one or two failed off the shelf IVF cycles. And I wonder sometimes whether just having that off that sh- off the shelf treatment because it's so torturous that it is just standard and you're not, it's almost like going to a sausage machine in a way, even when they've had children, they split up afterwards. I wonder whether that pressure is so great that they're not supported emotionally and physically that it often causes too much of a rift between them that can't be repaired afterwards. No, no. Yeah. And, and again, there is, um, no emotional support from hardly anyone when you are going through the IVF cycle. No. And that's the sense I get, you know, I have seen couples that have just split up after, even though they've had the baby, even even if it was adoption, whatever it's been, whether it's been a successful IVF, I think those pressures are so great and they're not not getting that, yeah, they're just not getting the support that is so vital to them. So I think you're doing an amazing job. Thank you. I think it's well needed as well. And um, I know your your business is is expanding continually, so you're obviously doing very well and the word is getting out, and I think that's great. And I think you train others as well. Yes, so um, I am a... Um obviously qualified fertility reflexologist and I teach other reflexologists how to help their clients if they are going through um, fertility issues. Reflexology, um, you know, as you know, is such a powerful therapy, just standalone, forget, you know, treating anything else, but as a de-stressor, working out, you know, um, what's going on in the body, just balancing is brilliant. So, um, you know, as I said, I was a refle- I've been a reflexologist for about 15 years 15, 16 years now, and 10 years ago, there wasn't that much around about fertility reflexology. Obviously, it's evolving, and you know, there's a lot more um, research and information out now. Um, but all my clients get off the couch and they're like walking on air because you know we've we've worked so hard through the feet to try and uh, I was going to say dissolve, but it's not really dissolve, just to remove a lot of the issues that you know have they've been experiencing. Um, and it's stuff that they can actually do themselves in between sessions because we do give clients homework. But yes, I do teach um, other reflexologists, and I'd love for this world to be in a place where before couples even decided that they wanted children, forget, you know, going down the route of trying and then having problems, is to really just get the bodies baby ready uh, with whatever it takes so that if there are issues, they're not as extreme as if, they did absolutely nothing um, beforehand, um, but holistic health is, is, I think, is one of the answers to so many things. And I think it's not just, I think, yeah, holistic health in all shapes and forms. Because I, from my point of view, I would just really wish that I could talk to couples when they're early on in their relationships before they really start the, the rot setting to be able to get them to recognise and be able to seek help if they needed to to be able to connect with each other and and work through the issues it, it's also they, they wait until it's too too late like you it's it's let's get them before get them get them ready beforehand get them you know, nutritionally and and health wise and also emotionally so that they can cope with life in a better way so they have better relationships and they have um their their, their fertility issues aren't as big as they are or or even they're not there at all there's a lot to learn no no no, absolutely I mean some of the um tools and techniques that we give to our clients aren't fertility they could be applied to any part of life you know any stage of life Um, and that's the beauty of it is that they've come to us for this help and then a few years down the line if they're you know whatever they need they've got tools and techniques to help again 
calm them down, bring them back down, um, help to de-stress. So that's what I like about, you know, even though I am a fertility specialist, a lot of the stuff we do is for, you know, general well-being as well. So how can people get in touch with you, Reki? How can they learn more about what you do? Um, so we have our website, uh, the website address, I'm sure you put it on, but it's www.f for Freddy, b for Bertie, a for Apple, b for Bertie.co.uk, fbab.co.uk. Um, even if you just search Fertility Bump and Beyond, you'll probably get um, the website coming up. We are on Facebook. Again, if you search for Fertility Bump and Beyond, our um, uh, Facebook page will come up. I usually do try and post some good um, information on there. Um, we post um, testimonials because, again, that's a vital part of our work. It's just to show, you know, how clients have achieved what they came through the door to um, achieve. Yeah. We are on um, Instagram. Um, I think the handle again there is um, Fertility Bump and Beyond, and um, by um, email or telephone as well. I do offer uh, a free fifteen-minute initial. Um, conversation just to see where you're at what you've had done um, what you could potentially do you know to help yourself um, and if we are the right people for you because I'm I'm all for energy work so if the energy feels right then we will work if the energy isn't there or there is something missing or you know it could be that you're just too far away or whatever it is I'm not the sort of person who's going to waste your time or my time to get you in, talk, and then it's going to go anywhere. You know, I'd rather help you find the right person. Um, and that's why I offer the free 15-minute chat beforehand. Great. So all the details will be in the show notes anyway. But um, So, that, yes, people can find you in there, but I just wanted people to understand how they could find you anyway from just talking. So your website is... F-B-A-B, which is for Fertility Bump and Beyond, but the initials, uh, .co.uk. And it's been amazing talking to you, Raki. Yeah, I've learned quite a lot from you, and it's just keep doing the great work that you're doing because I think it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you for giving me the opportunity as well. Yeah, you're welcome. So you can find all the information about this show in the show notes. And you can find lots more on my website, www.yourrelationshipspecialist.co.uk, including the link to my podcast. And you can also sign up for my newsletter, which has lots more tips and offers. So until next time, bye for now.